Good afternoon, my Life on Fire family. My name is Iva Foster Pace, and I want to share with you my moment on fire. Now, this testimony goes all the way back. Um, I was around nine years old at the time. Now, I grew up in a large household, right? It was 10 of us. My father, my mother, and it was eight of us. So my grandfather was a pastor during this time. And he always preached about faith, speaking those things that are not as though they are. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. At nine years old, that got in my spirit. So, I remember wanting these pair of yo-yo shoes for school. Now, I don't know if you all remember the yo-yo shoes, but they were the cute little sandal with the hole in the heel. I just wanted those shoes. So, I remember getting on my knees and asking God for those shoes, and then I started thanking him. Thanking him for those yo-yo shoes. Now, like I said, my father was the only one working at the time, so whatever we needed, it was up to him to provide all that for us, right? So I'm going to fast forward this all the way back. Um, I'm going to fast forward this to right before school started, okay, because I was praying for the shoes for school. Now, my father had already been shopping, you know, and him and my mom out going to get every, getting what we needed and all that. Now it's time for me to get my shoes, my clothes for school and I'm just thanking God for my yo-yos thanking God for my yo-yo sandals now we done went shopping everywhere and I haven't seen the yo-yos I don't even have my shoes yet for school now we're still going to church you know we was in church Sunday Wednesday Friday Friday night terrorist service Saturday. honey we stayed in church I grew up in the castle, so you already know what that means but anyway, so my my uh, grandfather was always preaching about faith, and I was, you know, believing God uh, for those shoes. And I'm going to fast forward again. It's about a week before school starts. No yo-yo shoes, no yo-yo sandals, no nothing. And I'm still praying and thanking God for my yo-yos, right? So I grew up in a small town called Palestine, Texas, honey. It's real small. So everything pretty much closed early there. So we're out and we're looking for, you know, my little school stuff and still no yo-yo shoes. So I'm telling you, faith will be tried. So I'm thanking God for my yo-yos, thanking God for my yo-yos. Now we're going to fast forward this again. Now we're like right at the end right at the end school finna start in a couple of days so we don't now the week done pass it's the weekend now everything closed early in palestine on saturday so i'm like god you know i, I believe what you said in your word you said to speak those things that are not as though they are and I, i'm believing god for my yo-yos but i don't see any yo-yos oh lord so now it's saturday Everything is closed. No yo-yos. Now, we still had Kroger and Buddy. I'm Buddy. There's a little grocery store called Buddy. Sometimes they had little jelly sandals in there. And I'm like, well, Lord, maybe the, maybe my yo-yos are in there because everything else is closed. The malls are closed. They don't, they don't open on Sunday, right? So it's Sunday morning. I still don't have my yo-yos. We go to church. Papa, he's still preaching about faith. And I'm holding on with all I know how to for a nine-year-old, right? So um, church is over. Now, we had two services on Sundays, Sunday morning and Sunday evening. So Sunday morning service is over. I'm still trying to figure out, like, how how can these yo-yos, you know, come? Like, where? I'm believing God. I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm believing what the scriptures say. I'm trusting God with all I know. How? It's, now it's Sunday afternoon. The first service is over. Now it's Sunday evening. And we are at the end. We don't got a church till late anyway on Sundays. You know, we they preach a long time. <laughs> so, Sunday night service is now over. And we're at home. My mother's pressing our hair. Now, why she pressed our hair so late, I don't know. Probably because there was so many of us and she was just doing the best she could. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the floor. My mom is pressing my hair. 
and tears began to fall down my face. And uh, my mother, she's trying to console me as a mother would. She's kind of rubbing my shoulders. She was like, Iva, you know, sometimes God don't come through the way that, you know, we think he should come through. And she's just trying to encourage me. And I said, no, no. But I thank God for my yo-yos. With tears running down my face, I was still thanking God for my yo-yos. Now, let me tell you how good God is, how amazing he is. This changed my life forever. So it's around 11 something at night, right? We get a knock on the door and it's a lady it's standing there with a bag. She was like, I know it's late and um, I'm sorry for coming so late, but I just feel led to bring this bag to y'all. Maybe one of your children can use what I have. And let me tell you what I did. When I seen that bag, when she came in there with that bag, I knew that my prayer was answered. So I ran, honey, and I, honey, I took that trash bag and I dumped that trash bag on the floor. And let me tell you what was at the bottom of that trash bag. The bottom of that trash bag was my yo-yo sandals. When I tell you God created those yo-yo sandals because I refused to give up on my faith. And so not only did he bless me with those yo-yo sandals, honey, those clothes in there was my size. I was so cute that year. All those clothes was my size. God said, he said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. You know, and we must believe that he is. And we must, you know, so God blessed me because I believed him. I believed what his word said. And I, you know, and I forgot all about this until some years later, many, many years later, actually some few years ago, I had had to leave out of a, a abusive marriage and I was sitting on the floor and I said, God, I don't, for the first time in my life, I don't have any answers. I don't even know what to do. Like, what is, what's going on in my life? And he brought back to me the yo-yo sandals. He said, I, what I did for you then, I'm the same God today. I, I'll, prov I'll make a way out of no way today. And so I remember, I said, God, why was I crying while I was yet thanking you, because the human side of us, we want to doubt, but we, our faith have to over, even overcome doubt. And so God used that scenario from way back then for now, because see, now I need that same yo-yo kind of faith. Now, I don't know if many out there is looking for something from the Lord, looking for God to move in a miraculous way, but I'm here to tell you. You don't give up on your faith. If you trust God like never before, he will make a way. I don't know what your yo-yos are. It could be your health. It could be your business. It could be anything that you are desiring from the Lord. I'm telling you, he will bring it to pass. Don't give up on your faith. Allow God to perfect your faith. And then when we have those moments when we want to doubt, you know, we have to say, God, increase my faith. Like this in scriptures, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. And he knows you better than anybody. And he will come through. That's my moment of fire. You guys be encouraged.